Today, the 22nd of April, 2021. Again, as I was led by the Spirit, going into Green Tilkey today, lo and behold, I run into this massive roadblock, illegal roadblock. I'm asking me for my identification and had no reason to stop me. So I said that they're interfering with my constitutional rights. People don't know that, but that is totally illegal. You have to have, as a bohemian, freedom of movement, freedom of speech. That's enshrined in our constitution. But not since Hurricane Dorian, they're all over me. But as I approach the road to the farm, I saw these trucks, bulldozer, escalator. I saw this Canadian that um, only the Bahamian government believed that a foreigner could be in charge of a government ministry like Richard Bruno. They bring him from Canada every time the FNM or the PLP win, they bring a foreigner to run a ministry. And this has been happening in the war. Decades. That show you how far we have gone as a country. But the massive pile of trucks escalated in Beloza to destroy 50, 60 structures. This doesn't impress Abaconians. It doesn't impress Kai Mills. What it does is said like, wow, that money could have been so better spent. The money that they're spending today to destroy the homes of maybe Bahamians, if there's illegal, they ought not have been allowed to go that far in this country after hurricane to build such structure. So all the government agency has dropped the ball. They don't impress Kai Mills, nor they impress Abaconians. They probably impress the people in Nassau, but nothing they have done after Hurricane Dorian has impressed the people of Abaco. Look at the monies that is being spent. It took 18 months to get to this point of over 150 structures. When Bakers Bay, I'm still on the story. I don't stop till the story is being told. Or we have an explanation to why the homeowners of Bakers Bay have given monies for 47 home in excess of 19 million. 18 months ago, the illegal Haitians has built 100 and fix 150 huge structures without $1 million. And a foreign company has given to the people of Abaco $119 million for 47 structures and the land haven't been cleaned yet. The Asian took their hands and their legs, cleared the land, built 150 structures. And over one year, the Minister of Immigration, my member of Parliament, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, only person that haven't been there is Lil James. Lil James scared of black people, and he's scared of the farm. Lil James haven't been down there. The Prime Minister's been there. The Deputy Prime Minister's been there. The Minister of Foreign, the Minister of, of Works. He's coming in today for photo op. Uh, you see, uh, they don't tell me when they're making their move because they don't want to hear the true gospel. They want to hear the gospel of Radio Abaco and BTN because they preach the gospel. They preach that prosperity gospel that the FNM government is doing okay. But you all go to uh, uh, um, Radio Abaco. Let my first cousin preach that prosperity FNM gospel 
of letting people spend their last dollar illegally. They came in this country illegally. Uh, this FNM government stood idly by over one year and let them build over a hundred structures. And then they're using my money, the people's money, to destroy what the FNM government knew what was happening. And they allowed it to grow to this proportion. And the minister coming in for a photo op on behalf of Abaco people when that money could have been so betterly, better spent to put some Abaconians that are still at the foundation level. Those monies could have been to help Abaconians. But yet, six or seven escalators, two bulldozers, ten trucks are there to destroy structures that if we had a government that was for the people, those structures ought never have been built. The question, Desmond Bannister, Mr. Minister, sir, I think I still could call you my friend. I wish I could speak to you to educate you on what the Minister of Foreign Affairs don't know about and what James Albury haven't cared about because they have lived in Nassau after Hurricane Dorian. Kai Mills have been on the ground. If only the government would have respected local government and sit at the table of knowledge, we could explain what is going on. So tell me, Mr. Desmond Bannister, newly appointed Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, what are you going to do with the structures that are near the Kipco that Kai Mills and other Bahamians have reported? On one side of the street, there's 50 structures. On the other side of the streets, there's 60 structures. That's uh, over 100 structures closest and closer to the capital, which is Marshaba. They are building them because they are pro close proximity to the job market. They never wanted to go on the farm. But the government, in my estimate, has encouraged them to go on the farm. They found out that that is too far from the job market being people that don't have a vehicle. So they are now building a new mud and peas. On the left of Kipco, it's the mud. On the right, there's a lot of peas in the bush. When are you going to do something about that structure? I think the government has not a heart nor a soul. If these people are actually Bahamian, and they allow them to build these structures and to bulldoze them, escalate them up, after they have toiled and slaved to get them to that point, if they are Bahamians, the government don't have a heart, nor a soul. The government should have stepped in and said, no, sir, you are out to integrate into the Bahamian culture properly. Not wait until they live in and move into the structure that is inhumane. Amnesty International need to step in and say to the government, you are cruel, you are inhumane to allow people Bohemians to build such structure and come and bulldoze them just for Radio Abaco and the minister responsible, Desmond Bannister, to come in with his crew for a photo op. You can't treat people like that because once you're a black man, don't care where you came from, you're African. And no black man should put a feet on the next black man, especially another Bahamian in this Commonwealth of the Bahamas, especially after they went through Hurricane Doreen, COVID-19, and now the FNM government. That is too much heartache, too much pain for any one people to withstand within a year. 
This one is Kai Kes trying to be that spokesman to a people that can't speak for themselves. And where is our member of parliament? Both members of parliament, both of them are in this FM government. Where is their voice? Have they not spoken to the people before it got to this point of destruction and total waste of money and energy? Have they spoken and said, stop building? No. They're waiting to find 100 of these so-called illegals and to make them eligible to vote for the FNM government during the next election. And where is the Progressive Liberal Party and their newly elected man that's going to stand for the PLP in North Abaco? This is right in his bosom and his belly. What is his take on such destruction and total cruelty of Bohemian after Hurricane Dorian, after COVID-19? Where is his waste and such destruction going on in Abaco today? Kai cares. That's why he's here. Too much unnecessary suffering by a people that need a voice. Kai care. I want to be that voice. That is why I'm speaking now and shall speak in then. Shall be speaking then if you give me that power to speak while the rest of them is visibly quiet and coming for a photo op while you're totally suffering, Kai Kiss. That's why he's here.